Hi everyone! Today we'll be talking about self-defense basics. How you're standing, how you hold your hands, what you're doing vocally when you see somebody's approaching you and it is going to escalate. Not there's a situation in which you can just run away because self-defense rule number one, run away. Self-defense rule number two, if there's no possibility to run away, eliminate the danger. The danger can be uh, a weapon, but we're now talking about a person. So you're in a situation and you are seeing somebody is coming towards you, somebody is approaching you. It is definitely going to escalate. How are you standing? You're not standing like this. Reason? You can just fall off balance in a very short time. You have your feet sort of hip width apart, maybe a little bit more even. And you have one front leg and then you have the other leg. So one leg is leading, I'm left-handed, so for me naturally it is the right leg that is up, uh, up front. And most people are right-handed, so they have their left foot forward, their left leg forward. The left leg is the leading leg. Um, I've done Muay Thai, so for me that comes like very naturally. For other people it is something that they can get comfortable with and if you have ever done combat sports then you already know about the leading leg so perfect one leg is leading the other one is a little bit behind how are you holding your hands okay self-defense rule number one if you can like de-escalate the situation or if you can run away you do that if you can't you take up a posture that is assertive that is prepared it can be a different varying level of preparedness and depending on the preparedness that you have they're either like this like chill chill relax calm down or if you know okay there's going to be a situation protect your face protect your face protect your body if you can <laughs> okay protect your face protect your body your chin slightly tucked in okay you don't want to hurt your chin because if somebody is like hitting you on the chin it's going to be really painful so stance is like this all right what I want you to do is I want you to be moving a little bit from one leg to the other and I want you to be able to change your position with the leading leg standing in front and the back leg going to the side okay that is a very easy way on how to how to be able to control where you are with very minimal effort okay so get comfortable doing this Remember, your chin is always a little bit tucked in, you have the leading leg, your legs are a little bit more than hip width apart, and you're like this, all right? You know it's going to escalate, the person is coming towards you. Next thing, verbal. You want to have a strong verbal signaling. You cannot run away in the situation that I'm demonstrating right now. So you have to become a lioness. And I really want you to think about becoming a lioness. You cannot be like, leave me alone, leave me alone in a situation like this, okay? The situation is going to escalate, like no questions asked in the situation that I'm demonstrating right here, right now. You going to be like, go the fuck away, okay? You gotta be loud have a deep voice because a deep voice is going to be more effective it's going to be more scared you can even sound as if you're possessed okay because a predator is not looking for an opponent a predator is looking for a victim and if you're like leave me alone leave me alone it's just nobody's going to leave you alone if you are asserting dominance in all of your behavior things can still happen but the chances are better that the other person is going to back off because this is a really scary situation. You are a scary person. So remember, don't say, go away, go away, ah! <laughs> okay, instead be like, no, fuck off! All right? I hope my neighbors didn't hear that. This is important. This is important. We're actually not playing. I want everybody to be safe, everybody to increase their chances of being safe, remaining steady, safe and uh, ideally not ever getting in danger but if there ever is something you gotta be a lioness so again hip width apart stay balanced you can move from one side to the other protect yourself protect your chin protect yourself with your hands then the other thing when you have to punch 
I mean, this is not a punch, but when you have to um, snap at the other person, fast movements, okay? And the fast movements, don't, don't just move your hands. It's not going to be effective. The fast movements are, you're using your whole body, you're using your torso, you're using your hips. The power always comes from the hips. With every punch, with every kick, it's always in the hips, it's in the torso, okay? And you don't make these movements, you make these movements, okay? And you go crazy, go crazy. Somebody is trying to do something to you, it is your right to defend yourself, so really go crazy, don't stop. Somebody is trying to hurt you, you have the right to defend yourself. I'm just gonna briefly talk about knees and kicks in this situation. So remember, we're not talking about combat sports here because in combat sports you would use those kicks. In combat sports you would, you know, knee on the upper thigh, knee in the belly, knee everywhere. Self-defense, you knee and you kick in the nuts. So while you think about a combat sports kick, a very nice kick, is for example the push kick but you're not using a push kick instead you're using something that is not really used as far as i know in combat sports which is you just kick up with a straight leg and with your shin you're going to kick in the nuts okay kick in the nuts that's what you want to do kick in the nuts it takes minimum effort from your side and it's going to be really painful it's going to be really effective use your shin Never, ever, ever use your foot. Your foot is way more sensitive in a situation like this. If the foot is, you know, hitting the target, then all right, it's fine, it happens. But ideally, you would use your shin. Your shin is so much harder, your shin is so much more resistant to pain, and your shin is just, well, an amazing structure of dense bone. So whenever possible, use your shin. The other thing are knees. Knees, the same, in the nuts, in the nuts. And you see, you're using your hip, using your torso, but don't do it like exaggerated like this because you may come off balance. Instead, just use slightly your hips, slightly back. And also while you do this, try it's not always possible but try to defend yourself I mean try to have your hands up or have your hands actually on the target that's going to make it super effective as well as going to be super painful as well because you're gonna you know build up even more momentum by just having the other person but I A little bit more than hip width apart or hip width apart for your balance so you have your balance make those little movements Another movement is going back, okay? Protect yourself, protect your shin, be loud, use a dark voice if it's possible. And my Krav Maga instructor who is uh, Spanish, he always says that I should be like the sweetest person, I can be the sweetest person as I'm in a situation where I know it's going to escalate, I have to fight como una loca, like a crazy one, okay? Uh, noises, make them, be loud. Be like a crazy one. If you really have to snap, snap like this, okay? If you wanna make it an impactful one. You use your legs, use them up, in the nuts, in the nuts, in the nuts, in the nuts. When you're using your knees, in the nuts, okay? You don't have to go super high. The belly is going to be super painful as well, but the nuts are just the best target, okay? Other targets that you want to reach if you can, trachea, you can also punch it like this or you can um, use your uh, this part here of your hand very snappy and fast use the eyes going to be super painful as well okay with your thumbs in the eyes very very violently and that's it from the super extreme basics I really hope that you find them useful. I hope that you're gonna train them. I hope that you're gonna train them with an instructor because an instructor is going to teach you so much also when it comes to mindset. And through that repetition, through that doing it over and over and over again, you'll also feel more confident in situations in which you think this could be dangerous. So keep safe, stay safe, stay protected. 
protect yourself and if anything ever happened to you know that it was not your fault not at all don't ever think that things can happen to everybody not your fault get some help i hope that helps and i wish you a wonderful most amazing day bye bye